I need to redo that again. And welcome to a bonus episode. They're gonna be bonus episodes from here on out, because <laughs> or a weekly episode. It could be weekly. Let me tell you, they just ain't got no title for it. Anyway, don't forget to check me out on the Dr. Waffle Podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you, sir. We thank you, sir, for everything you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you will do. Lord, we love you. We ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly and we repent of sins committed by us and our ancestors and we um ask lord that you open our eyes our ears our hearts our minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today make me a personal conduit so i can say you say to your people what you want me to say me in the background you on the foreground this is about your glory we thank you for the revelation the confirmation and the clarity in the name of jesus amen so turn with me if you will in your bible to ezekiel 9 8 through 9 I'm going to tell you how I got this verse. So, I'm like, it's been days now. And I'm like, I don't know what you want me to talk about. And I'm not going to release something if you don't, me, you don't want me to say it. So, it's weird because, um, well, it's not weird. Um, Bishop Foreman explains about the Gematria, where it's like numbers. And so, lately, the numbers specifically I've been seeing are seven 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 just seven 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 um so i was like i have no idea what you want me to talk about i don't know because I, I work with me here please um but he was like just turn to page seven 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 it was ezekiel nine um and then i read and into a verse i felt like god was like okay it's that one and it was Ezekiel 9, 8 through 9. Okay. And while they were striking and I was left alone, I fell upon my face and I cried, Ah, Lord, God, will you destroy all the remnant of Israel and the outpouring of your wrath out of Jerusalem? Then he said to me, The guilt of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. The land is full of of blood and the city is full of injustice for they say the Lord has forsaken the land and the Lord does not see my God I feel like this word um, is like a warning um, I've said it before I do I feel it real strongly I just don't know God never tells me like dates and times and stuff like that but I feel like I don't even want to say I feel like it's just judgment. It's going to be judgment for America because they had time to right the wrongs and they chose not to. But with that, there's going to become casualties. There's going to be casualties as well because we're also doing each other wrong. The um, chosen people of um Israel and Judah and you heard of the saying the crabs in the bucket and it's like you never want to see one getting up out the hood or whatever and you're going to try to pull them back down and it's like we do this to one another and we're broken repent repent just repent so you're not one of those casualties repent just repent. Lord, I'm sorry. I ask for your forgiveness. If I've done anything to harm my brother, um, if I've done anything to covet what my brother has, my brother or my sister has, I ask that you forgive me, Lord. And that's the first part. Second part, when I was um, doing this, God was speaking to me because wife hack is like, we're talking about relationships. Ones that you want, ones that you don't want, ones that you are, it's blossoming, it's a budding relationship, ones that are already established and have been established for years. That's what Wife Hack is all about. That's all it's about. It's about 
how do we get better as wives? This is going to serve also as a warning for people who not the people who are like not in a relationship or just got out of one. We're talking about people who are actually in a committed relationship. Okay. So come with me. Um, this is a warning for you as well. Um, there's going to be some casualties, God said. There's going to be some casualties in your relationship. But if there was something that you did to your significant other, if there was some hidden stuff that you said you're never going to, you need to open up and say it. My God. You need to open up and say it and be real and be repentant. But this is not one of those things that you can take, quote unquote, to the grave and tell nobody. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh my God. All right. This is for even, he said, the singles out there. My God. Okay. He said even for the singles out there. Um, if there's something that you're holding within yourself, um, and, it, and it's harming somebody, you need to just rip the Band-Aid that is an analogy I use for, like, just get it over with. Um, you know when you be wearing Band-Aids on, like, a cut, and it's not the cheap Dollar Tree Band-Aids? Well, you know, you know, the tree of the dollar. Um, and the glue's really good. And if you try to slowly take it off, it hurts horribly. But if you just snatch that thing off, that pain is quick and it's done. That's what this moment is right now. It's quick and it's done. Make it quick. Just do it. Just do it. Make it quick. Um, there's some things that you need to say. And you need to be repentant of and you need to be honest of. Um, for everybody. Because we all felt on short of the glory. This is also a warning, not only for America, but for people who are seeking relationships and people who are already in relationships. The wrath of God is coming. Um, the wrath of God is coming, period. Just, we don't necessarily know when, but it's coming, it's coming. Um, repent. Say what you got to say. We're not guaranteed the next day. We're not. We're not guaranteed the next moment. We're not guaranteed these things. So it'd be who of us to live um, the way I try to live all the time. I hate the word try. The way I live with no regrets. Whatever it is I gotta say, I say. Whatever it is, whatever is my part to do, trust and believe I'm gonna do my part. Because I don't wanna get to the pearly white gates, as people be saying. And it's like, but you didn't do this. No, I did my part. I did my part. I probably did my part and then some. That's how you need to live in your relationship. I did my part and then some. I said what I needed to say with respect. Um, I did what I needed to do. And it's in God's hands now. Sometimes that might come with casualties. You might have to say goodbye. But sometimes that might be the thing because you are honest. It draws you even that much more closer together. So anyway, I'm going to link in the description one of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman. 
the Harvest Church. It will bless you, inspire you, and change your life. Thank you so much. This is such an honor. And shalom.